The Book of the Prophet Jeremiah Chapter 4 If thou wilt return, all Israel, says the Lord, return unto me. And if thou wilt put away thine abominations out of my sight, then shalt thou not to live. And thou shalt swear, the Lord living in truth, in judgment, and in righteousness, and the nation shall bless themselves in him, and in him shall they glory. For thus says the Lord to the men of Judah and Jerusalem, Break up your foul ground, and sow not among thorns. Circumcise yourselves to the Lord, and take away the false skins of your heart. Ye men of Judah and inhabitants of Jerusalem, lest my fury come forth like fire, and burn that none can quench it, because of the evil of your doings. Declare ye in Judah, and publish in Jerusalem, and say, Blow ye the trumpet in the land, cry, gather together, and say, Assemble yourselves, let us go into the defense cities, set up the standard toward Zion, retire, stay not, for I will bring evil from the north, and a great destruction. The lion is come up from his thicket, and the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way. He is gone forth from his place to make thy land desolate. And thy cities shall be laid waste, without an inhabitant. For this guide you with sacros, laments and hollow. For the fierce anger of the Lord is not turned back from us. And it shall come to pass at that day, says the Lord, that the heart of the king shall perish, and the heart of the princes, and the priests shall be astonished. And the prophets shall wonder. Then said I, Ah, Lord God, surely thou hast greatly deceived these people and Jerusalem, saying, Ye shall have peace. Whereas the soul reaches unto the soul. At that time shall it be said to these people and to Jerusalem, a dry wind of the high places in the wilderness toward the daughter of my people, not to fan, not to cleanse, even a full wind from those places shall come unto me. Now also will I give sentence against them. Behold, he shall come up as clouds, and his chariots shall be as a whirlwind. His horses are shifter than eagles. Woe well unto us, for we are spoiled. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness, that thou mayst be saved. How long shall thine fame thus lodge within thee? For a voice declares from Dan, and publishes affliction from Mount Ephraim. Make ye mention to the nations, Behold, publish against Jerusalem, that watchers come from a far country, and give out their voice against the cities of Judah, as keepers of a field, are they against her round about, because she has been rebellious against me, says the Lord. Thy way and thy doings have procured these things unto thee. This is thy wickedness, because it is bitter, because it reaches unto thine heart. My bows, my bows, am pained at my very heart. My heart makes a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace, because thou hast heard, O oh my soul, the sound of the trumpet. The arm of war, destruction upon destruction is cried, for the whole land is spoiled. Suddenly are my tents spoiled, and my curtains in a moment. How long shall I see the standard, and hear the sound of the trumpet? 
For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sought children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. I behold the earth, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens, and they had no light. I behold the mountains, and lo, they trembled, and all the hills moved lightly. I behold, and lo, there was no man, and all the birds of the heavens were fled. I behold, and lo, the fruitful place was the wilderness, and all the cities thereof were broken down at the princes of the Lord, and by his fierce arm. For thus has the Lord said, The whole land shall be desolate. Yes, will I not make a full end? For this shall the earth mourn, and the heavens above be black, because I have spoken it, I have purposed it, and will not repent, neither will I turn back from it. The whole city shall flee for the noise of the horsemen and bowmen. They shall go into thickets and climb up upon the rocks. Every city shall be forsaken, and not a man dwell therein. And when thou art spoiled, what wilt thou do? Thou thou clothe thyself with crimson, though thou takest thee with ornaments of gold, though thou rent thy face with paintings, in vain shalt thou make thyself fair. Thy lovers will despise thee, they will seek thy life, for I have heard a voice as a woman in fell, and the anguish as of her that brings forth her first child, the voice of the daughter of Zion, that bewails herself, that spreads her hands, saying, What is me now? For my soul is weird because of murderers.